Hi guys, my name is Brandon and I've been a cinematographer for the last 10 years. And today I want to talk to you about lighting a talking head video, kind of like this one, but we're going to do it for under $40 and then compare it to this $200 ring light setup. Before we can talk about lighting though, let's outline our steps to ensure a professional looking video. Step number one, find the ideal room. An ideal room is uncluttered and allows you control over your lighting. What this means is either you use natural light to your advantage or you set up your own lights within the room. I chose to shoot in my office today because it is the room in my home that gives me the most control. I have a big window to my right with some standard blinds on it that I've closed. And this window doesn't actually get a lot of direct sunlight throughout the day. So I'm able to keep my image consistent no matter what time of day I'm shooting here. If you do not have an office, I'll actually show you an example in my living room later in this video. Step number two, positioning your camera. When you position yourself in front of a camera, ideally you can find a background that has no large visual gaps behind you. If you position yourself right up against a wall, your shot is going to have no visual depth and your scene is going to look boring. Try to position yourself in such a way that there is something interesting across the entire frame. Do you have any props, objects, furniture to fill up the empty space in your shot? Examples of this could be a lamp, shelf, desk, or a hung piece of art. Just use what you have available to you. Here's a bonus tip. If you choose to shoot during the day and you don't want to do any other setup, place yourself in front of a window with the window behind your camera. This will give you a nice even front lit shot and you will probably see this exact same look across thousands of videos on the platform. Step number three, lighting. If you choose not to use natural light, start by blacking out your windows, then turning off your house lights. Here's what you're gonna need for this Ikea setup. Two light bulbs, I have two incandescent bulbs here, a 150 watt and a 60 watt from the hardware store. Two lamp holders to plug into the wall, you can get these from Ikea or Amazon for whatever wattage you need. Two Regolit China balls from Ikea. And these are optional, but I also grabbed two pony clamps from the hardware store. The reason I am using two different wattage of bulbs here is because the first China ball will act as your key light, which should be the brightest light in your setup. And the other will act as your fill light, which allows you to control the contrast in your shot to suit your needs. It's outside the scope of this video, but if you guys want a video about the pros and cons of different types of light bulbs in a production setting, let me know in the comments down below. For the placement of the lights, start with the 150 watt China ball set at about a 45 degree angle. This will give you a nice soft diffused key. Then for your fill light, place it behind the front of the camera like this. Now here's a comparison of both side by side, key light by itself and with the fill light. If you want even less contrast on the face, you can actually move the fill light past camera a little bit to give yourself a more even look. Feel free to experiment, find something that you like. How you rig these lights is up to you. I am using my C-Stand for the key light and a step ladder with a backpack on it for the fill light. Both of these lights are secured with pony clamps. Of course, if you do not own a C-Stand, you could always buy some blue painter's tape and tape the lamp cables to the ceiling once you have determined the position of your lights. Or if you want a cleaner looking solution, try using some hooks in your ceiling to manage the cables that way. For the background, I have one lamp on frame right and I have my dining room light set at about 40% to add some visual interest to our background. Here is that same setup shot on an iPhone just to give you an idea of what this setup looks like if you're using your smartphone as your main camera. Now let's do our comparison setup with our daylight balanced ring light. I started with the ring light on a light stand in the traditional front positioning. Here's what that looks like. Then I tried the ring light at a 45 degree angle similar to our IKEA key light from earlier. This is what the ring light looks like in both positions compared to our IKEA setup. I'll let you guys ultimately judge for yourself what you think of the look for each setup, but here are my observations. The ring light overall looks less natural, and the reason for this is that ring lights are designed to be used 
very close up, which gives you that distinct shape in the eyes and the softness on the skin. When used at a distance, the ring light loses its natural softness and the shot starts to feel lit. In the IKEA setup, the China Balls are a soft omnidirectional light. And because we're using two of them, we're able to wrap the softness around the face in a more natural looking way. The ring light I used is daylight only, but even if it was incandescent or bicolor, you'd still get the same unnatural look to the light. You just wouldn't get the color contrast that you see here. I am in no way saying ring lights are bad, but I used one in this comparison because in my experience, they are the first thing people think of when they think of an easy go-to lighting setup. For $200, this ring light is about average in terms of size and color reproduction on skin tone. If you start looking at cheaper ring lights, they're usually going to be smaller and probably not great on skin when it comes to color. If you are okay with a DIY looking setup that is slightly less convenient than something like a ring light, for $40, I would choose the IKEA setup every single time. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you know anybody who's been struggling with lighting their first YouTube video, I would really appreciate if you shared this video with them. And let me know in the comments down below, do you own a ring light? Would you use this IKEA setup instead? Thanks for watching.